Okay, so here I am in my Google Classroom in my Drive. And if you remember from earlier, we were looking at all of these different folders I have, and we discussed how these two right here, the 6th grade SS and this MS Science SS, those were ones that I used with students last year. So if you look here, I've got seven different folders for seven different classes. But if I come in here, I only have five classes. And what has happened is these, these two right here, are archived. What I did was use a Google Classroom with a group of students and then rather than delete that class at the end of the year, I decided to archive it. The benefits of archiving are that I still have all of the data that the students have created. I still have all of the data that I have created and that includes any assignments that I gave the students that I'm probably going to want to reassign to my next group of kids. So I'm going to go into my Google Classroom and I clicked on my pancakes. Now right here it says classes. I've got all of my classes right here and then here's the ones that I am actually enrolled in. But then right here where it says archived classes, if I click there, here are my archived classes. Okay, so this is good if I decide that I want to go back to those and look at them for whatever reason. But then at the same time, let's say that I do want to reuse one of those assignments. So I'm here in my classroom and I click on the plus sign. I'm going to go to reuse post and then I can go here into one of these and I'm going to go into this one here. I'm going to click select and then let's say it's this one that I want my kids to do where it says brainstorming ideas, create new copies of all attachments, reuse, and at this point if I have multiple classes where I teach this same assignment, I'm going to click here and select all of those. And now I can either assign or save it as a draft. So here, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to click assign. And it's got the link. It says zero or done, zero or not done again because I don't have any students in this class. And this is the exact same thing that my students would see whenever they used this last year, except now this one has a new due date on it and it is specific to this class. So one thing to keep in mind here is that I'm going to open this. This was a Padlet that the teacher had created. And you can see I've got all of these student responses on this because Google Classroom can make new copies of anything that was created in Google Drive, but it can't make a new Padlet for me. I have to go do that myself. So if this were something where I really liked the language of this and I wanted to make sure I ca captured the language and the directions and all of that, that's fine. But if I wanted them to have a new Padlet in this situation, I would have to go create another one. I can edit this by clicking on my three dots over here and clicking edit. And then let's say I have created a new Padlet. I can just delete this one and then I would add a new one with the link tool right here. And that's it. Then I would just hit add and save.